Hey there, welcome to another edition of Solve My Math Homework's Video Solutions. So today we're going to look at a derivative of a fourth root function. And actually this is going to help you take the derivative of any root function that you have. Uh, with the exception of maybe when there's something else under the radical, then we're going to get into the chain rule and that'll come a little later. But this one came in with a specific question that said they hadn't learned the derivative rule for root functions. And that makes sense because you've learned a lot of derivative rules. So what we're going to do with this is what we do with a lot of functions. I'm going to say that it's always best to see if you can rewrite something before you derive it. Do a little algebra before you jump into the calculus, then derive it, and only rewrite it if it's going to make it easier to derive. And you'll see how this will. And then you'll clean it up. And by clean up, I mean we'll simplify and write it in proper form. So let's rewrite this. So this is the same as asking for the derivative of x to the 1 fourth power. And the reason that's the same is because we know the nth root of some number a is equal to a to the 1 over n power, right? Even we can go one step further in case you see them. If you have the nth root of a to the m, remember I used to tell my kids you always raise the root. So raise the root, raise the root so they remember that the root was the denominator and m was the numerator. They didn't love seeing me do raise the root. Um, and it definitely showed my age. But it's okay because I bet they remembered. So we're going to use this. We've rewritten this now. So now we can just use the power rule. Power rule is our friend because it's the easiest rule. Okay? So the power rule, in case we don't forget it, said that if we have y equals a times x to the nth power, then the derivative is simply take down the whoops, take down that power, multiply it by anything there, and then lower the power by one. That's our favorite rule because it's the easiest. So let's do this. We are going to bring down our one-fourth power. We are going to multiply it by x because there's nothing else there. There's a one, but we don't, that's not going to change anything. And then we're going to lower the exponent by one. So one-fourth minus four-fourths. It's a little ugly. It's not too ugly. You've made it to calculus. You can certainly subtract some fractions. One-fourth x to the negative 3 fourths. Now this should be okay. I know you spent a lot of time in Algebra 2 getting rid of negative exponents and then you get to calculus and all of a sudden they're okay again. Now you could, and if your teacher doesn't give it to you in this form, remember if you see an answer it doesn't look exactly like yours, make sure it's not an equivalent form before you freak out thinking you did it wrong. This is also the same, remember the negative exponent is a reciprocal, so we could say it's 1 over 4 times x to the positive 3 fourths power if your teacher wrote it with positive exponents. All right, I hope that helped. This is going to be super easy when you see these. You're going to see an n to the, you know, fourth root or fifth root or sixth root. As long as it's just a single variable under here, you don't have a composed function, you're not going to worry about the chain rule. This is the rule. Rewrite, use a fraction exponent, employ the power rule. If you have questions, pop them in the comments. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that I'll solve your homework problem when you send it to me.